Different color, more. Ooh! That one's stuck. <laughs> going on guys Andy Gabs back with another vlog uh, still at BHB reptiles and today me and Noah are just gonna walk around and I'm gonna try to handle some of the angrier snakes at BHB right we're not gonna try to make anything mad I'm just gonna try to take them out and see how it goes we're gonna start small and then work our way up to some bigger ones so this is just a little baby Texas rat snake He's pissed. oh yeah so this guy doesn't hurt at all yeah just a little danger just a little baby Look at how cute they are though. So I, before I came here, like I had heard about the scale of snakes, but I had never held one. They're so cool. Like it feels uh -huh. so much different. If you guys never felt one, I say it feels like a rubber tire or something. Like, yeah. a, like a hose. It's like just like a rubber band almost. Yeah, it's super weird. All right, let's move on to something a little bit bigger. Yeah, that didn't really do much. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so I like, Yesterday I opened this cage just because I was curious because it's got a, a funny name. Um, I'm not going to say the name, but it's got a funny name. And it's not a very happy snake. And this one definitely hurts a little bit. But let's see if he's in a good mood. Yeah. Let's see if I can... Oh my god, dude. You almost <laughs> just got me bit. What the hell? Come on, bro. Oh, that was awesome. I didn't even think about that. Here, right. you got this. He's in such a weird position. I want to try to get him to like come out. Yeah. Dude, like, you just gotta ah. get him out the cage. You can do it. See, it's not that bad. There's a little puppy dog. Super friendly. Hey, hey, hey. hey. He's in strike mode right at me. Yeah, he's definitely. He wants to bite. It's actually not that bad, though. Not horrible. No they're bite. really, they're really pretty. Animals. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. For sure. Oh, don't do it. Oh, no. This is such a weird spot. And, like, sometimes they'll just turn and, like, they won't strike and bite. Like, they'll literally just bite you. Yeah. Like, just, just like, meh. Yeah. But, all right, so he wasn't that bad, so we can try another one now. Dude, I mean, I guess you're just so good that you just, they don't get bite at you. Well, that wasn't English. Yeah. <laughs> you're just so good that they don't get bite at you. <laughs> uh, this guy is definitely not happy like you can just tell by the yeah. way he looks oh did he get you he barely got me oh my god dude that's freaking scary uh, oh that is like once you get it over with it's not that bad ow oh it... oh you, you look at him oh my god dude he's an angry little boy whoa oh that was sweet Oh yeah, my he's goodness. He's definitely not happy. Oh my oh. god, dude. Now I'm in such a weird position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like no good way. Oh my goodness. That piece of paper out of there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Come on. There we go. See, I'm a professional, right? Yeah. It's not even that bad. They're just little, little babies. That's all they are. Yeah, it's not even scary. Look at him. He's fine. Hey, you're warming them up anyways. We gotta tame them out. No. Yeah, right. So these guys are eventually gonna be like 18 plus feet, and you definitely don't want them to be mean when they're that big. No, uh, that bite will be a lot worse. Having a little trouble. Yeah, so like I'm trying to get him in, and he doesn't want to go back in, and he just keeps wrapping around me. I think you got it. Go. I don't think he's gonna bite you. There we go. There we go. Oh, dude, he just keeps coming back up. These guys. All right, next one. Cool. Easy day. Next one. Here Ooh. we go. Ow. Oh! Ow. Oh! Ow. Oh! Oh man, that he lit you up. Yeah, these ones are so pretty though, dude. Like, yeah. Is it worth the pain though? It's definitely worth the pain. <laughs> to have a scaleless snake yeah. is definitely worth the pain. For sure. They're super cool. Yeah. They're so pretty too. And it's like crazy how different the colors can be in them. Yeah. Like this one's all like dark red and black. Yeah. That other one was like light blue. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. It is really cool. Mean at the start, nice at the end. Yeah, right? All right, so a snake that has a special place in the, uh, the bite portion of my heart is an Amazon tree boa because I used to have one and it would destroy me every time I got it out. It was just like nonstop biting. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab an Amazon tree boa out and see what happens. 
Ooh, there's such a long. Okay, so arm. I got her out. And <laughs> their strike, their strike range is absolutely insane. <laughs> Look at that freaking neck, dude. She's got me like five times already, and she just pooped all over me, which is great. Ah, <laughs> she's working you, dude. That was a good one. <laughs> She bit my new tattoo. She's gonna mess it up. <laughs> they, ah, no, not right Ooh. there. That was a good one. But yeah, she's super, super pretty. <laughs> yeah, she, ah. You can see, like, one thing I love, like, they just, they're always spring loaded to Dude. strike. Like, their whole body is like a giant spring Dude. that they can shoot out just like that. Like, from right here, she could probably bite my face. <laughs> but instead, she's just choosing to bite my hands over and over again. She literally got me like probably 20 times on my hand. Yeah, literally 20. You can literally see my blood on her mouth. That's gross. <laughs> but yeah, she's super cool. No, 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 no. Come on. It's what crazy how long they are for yep. being uh, like little no. babies. Yeah, they, and these guys aren't old at all. No. Um, these are, I think, late 2017 babies. Yeah. Um, ow. All right, Ooh. so I'm gonna go ahead and throw her in just because I don't want to stress her out too, too yeah. much. But then we'll take out one more that's a different color. More! Ooh. Color more! Color more! Ooh. That one's stuck in. Dang. <laughs> so this one is really, really cool. This is what would be called a Halloween phase Amazon tree boa. Uh, and it's called that because they have like that black and red and orange, right? It kind of reminds you of Halloween. And if you look at their head, I'm not sure if Noah can get it to focus, but their heads are just so crazy looking. Here we go. So yeah, you can see the head patterning and the head colors and just like the shape of their head. They look like little vipers. It's awesome. All right, so now we move downstairs to check out the baby ball pythons. Usually these guys aren't as mean, but you never know with like the little babies. So we're just gonna go around and kind of look at some of the cool ones that I can see written on. Uh, so this one is a pastel fire lesser Woma pinstripe. Oh, wow. Ooh, that is a pretty snake. Look at that, so pretty. I love like the white line that goes down the spine. Yeah. That's awesome. These are really, really cool animals. All right, so this one has my favorite gene in it. This is a banana spider chocolate ball python, and the banana is by far my favorite gene. Uh, I just love like the yellows and the pinks that you get with it, and my favorite combination is a black pastel banana because it makes them like purple, but unfortunately I don't think they have any black pastel bananas right now. Um, but let's try to find a normal banana so you guys can compare. This is a banana spider chocolate, so let's find a normal. All right, so this is a normal banana on the right, and then this is the banana spider chocolate on the left, so you can see the difference. And honestly, like, I think I almost like the normal banana better because it's got, like, the purpley pinks and the yellows and oranges, but they're both so insane. I definitely need to get one of these from Brian. So this would be another one of my favorites, and when you combine the banana with this, the way they look is absolutely insane. Uh, so this is just a pastel pied ball python, and it's super high white. So like 80, I'd say maybe even 90% of its whole body is all white. So they can either be like this, where they have all of that white with just a little bit of patterning, or, or they can be like this, where obviously this guy does have some white, right? It's still a pied, but it's just mostly a normal pattern with just that little bit of white showing through. So these are two in the same snakes, just shows you how different the genetics can be between them. So this is Verde, the green anaconda, or Verde, Verde. Same thing. Yeah. Um, Green anacondas are really cool. They're one of the heaviest bodied, if not, they might even be the heaviest bodied snake in the world. So when she's full grown, she'll literally be like that big around. Yeah. Like they are monstrous <laughs> when they're full grown. But she's puppy dog tame, which is super cool. And she's really pretty. They're, I know they're trying to switch her over to, to rats, but she only eats live chicks right now, which is pretty gnarly. Uh, actually not live anymore. Oh, not live. I think we got her on Frozen. Okay, well now she eats Frozen chicks, so that's awesome. But yeah, she's super pretty. Anacondas are one of my favorite snakes. They just look so like goofy. They kind of look like derpy. You know what I mean? Like with their eyes are like yeah. all bubbly and bulgy. So I got bit a couple times, right? But nothing really seemed to want to bite me. And I, I'm not gonna try to antagonize them to get them to bite me, right? That's not my goal. I was just gonna go try to pick up some stuff that was a little bit more on the angry side. So you can see I definitely got bloodied up from those Amazon tree boas. There's blood all in my tattoo. And then there's blood all over my hand here. But that was a good time. 